Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. In it I want to show you an example of how to deal with negative exponents especially if I have a fraction. So uh, whenever we have brackets with an exponent and inside the brackets we have no positive uh, pluses or minuses in the sense of having terms. In other words inside I have a single term and even in the term the factors in the terms there's not additional terms in those factors so uh, point just being is inside I simply have a bunch of factors what I would do is I would simply distribute the exponent at the outside of the bracket to every factor and multiplying with its exponents okay so that's what I'll do here the first thing I'll do is that negative 2 will be multiplied with every term inside Oh, sorry every factor inside's exponent so the 9 has a 9 to the power of 1 so that will be 9 to the power of negative 2 the 1 times negative 2 x to the power of the negative 9 will multiply the negative 2 to become positive 18 the y to the power of 5 will become y to the power of uh, it's negative 5 so it will become negative 5 times negative 2 positive 10 then we would have a in the denominator something similar 18 to the power of this negative 2 so that becomes 18 1 times negative 2 it's negative 2 x to the power of 3 becomes 3 times negative 2 that's x to the power of negative 6 and finally we have our y to the power of negative 10 negative 2 gives me positive 20 and then I have uh, the way that I explain explain this is we'll simplify first the constant numbers and I'll divide the constant numbers with one another uh, whenever we have things with the exact same exponent I can do whatever operation with the base that that um, uh, that I have for example if they were being multiplied then I will multiply the bases uh, so f uh, an example would be if I have a 9 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2 I can multiply the bases whenever the exponents are the same I can multiply the bases so I'll have 18 to the power of 2 okay um, I, I won't add the exponents as well please that's not the same the same law when exponents are the same we can multiply the bases if of course they were being multiplied if this was an addition or a subtraction I can't do anything exponents have not, nothing to do with add and subtract so these are two separate terms and they can't be simplified unless I actually say 9 squared and 2 squared and then add up those answers but anyway so to continue here what I have is I have 9 to the power of negative 2 and 18 to the power of negative 2 so basically what I have is 9 divided by 18 the whole thing to the power of negative two, negative 2 so so basically I've just done when to step back okay um, I should have done this first but just to simplify this first I get 9 divided by 18 9 goes into itself once and into 18 two times to the power of negative 2 and um, so I just did the operation inside the bracket first now what I find is that I have a half to the power of negative 2 and you will recall that a negative means I am dividing so 1 is being divided by a half dividing with a half is the same as multiplying so the half in fact is 2 to the power of 2 so this becomes 4 so whenever you have a fraction with a negative exponent you can this just swap that fraction around so 1 over 2 to the power of negative 1 can just become 2 over 1 to the power of positive 1 okay that's basically what what it looks like happen is happening and so here we have our this the constant part of the expression simplifies to simply 2 squared then I write down all of my other factors which is an x and a y x to the power of 18 y to the power of 10 and now we subtract the denominators I subtract negative 6 that becomes positive 6 x minus minus 6 is positive 6 and y 10 minus the 20 
and I get an answer of 4x24y negative 10 and then I must just write my answers usually they request me to write my answers as a in positive exponents so it's 4 to the power of x24 divided by y to the power of 10. Hopefully that made sense to you. Uh, if you are having trouble with this first part, I, I would actually suggest that maybe before you distribute the negative 2 to the exponents, that might have been easier if we if we did that first. Like first say, okay, let's just simplify the, the coefficients first, and that is 9 divides itself once and in 18 two times. Then in the end, instead of having this 9 to the power of negative 2 I would have only had 1 over 2 to the power of negative 2 and that would have simplified the whole process much more because 2 to the power of negative 2 is just going to swap its place from the denominator to the numerator. Another thing you could have done right from the beginning and you can always do that whatever you have in a fraction okay inside side of side here I have a numerator even any numerator and a denominator okay to the power of negative anything let's just put that like negative n in representing anything okay then what you what you can do is just swap the fraction denom over num to the power of positive so in other words to get rid of the negative exponent you could just take the fraction the only the only limitation would be it has to be the whole thing has to be a fraction it can't be something like one plus a half to the power of negative two you can't do it now the whole thing has to be a fraction then when you have a negative exponent you could just swap the fraction around to make that exponent positive and that would have just meant that when I distribute I'm just going to distribute a positive 2 instead of a negative 2 it must come to the same answer or else you are doing something wrong well thank you very much for watching I hope this was helpful just to explain slightly more complex expressions where we have negative exponents we'll see you in another video